Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. I'm bringing a new challenge. It's not for the faint of heart. It's really entertaining, but in my opinion, was hard to solve. There are a lot of things to learn from. Let's get started. So the name of this challenge is Das Box. The author is Das. I can tell from the quality of the machine that he's not playing. Let's give it a try with and map. We're going to target the top ports 200 ctf15.rootme.org. This challenge is hosted on rootme. So we get the usual ctf ports 80 and 22. This is not different, but as you will see throughout this challenge, it's not the usual challenges you might find. So here I'm just going to target all the uh, ports while we poke around the port 80 for web. So let's bring up our browser, ctf15.rootme.org, and we land on a online store, products, mm, healing crystal, buy now, the buttons don't, don't work. What about the uh, links in the footer? Nothing, all point to a hashtag. So nothing really interesting here. What about the pages in the top menu? Nothing here. Uh, what about the sign up? Looks interesting. Yep, it doesn't work. So it seems that this is a static page made just for, uh, you know, making the challenge look uh, look nice. Um, we have copyright, le Christ cosmique. Mm-hmm. This points to a GitHub page. Let's uh, go straight to it. And while we are at this page, let's just fetch robots.txt. This uh, file usually holds things that shouldn't be parsed by or indexed by uh, search engines. And generally these contain some unusual folders. We don't have robots.txt. Um, we could go ahead and brute force the um, directory. This is called directory enumeration or directory brute forcing. And uh, if you see my previous challenges, uh, I've done that extensively. Uh, make sure to check them out. And there are a lot of tools that go with that, including WFuzz, which I use during the challenges. I also like Fuff, so that's Fuff like this. And uh, there are also a bunch of other tools. All right, let's go to this uh, GitHub account. It seems like it's empty, nothing here. It, so this might hint that this repository or this account was specifically made for this challenge. So let's go to this repository, web. And inside it, we have... Uh, Two files, hardening, shell script, and unguessable file for security.php. Hmm. So if this website was built using this project, there's a, a high chance that we have a folder or a file, PHP file that's named this way. So if we click, hit enter, and we land on a CMD service. Cool. Allowed commands, uptime. Hmm. Okay, how can we use that? Do we have anything in the source? Nope, nothing. Nada. All right, let's go back here and do some code review to learn more about what this service is doing. CMD service, and then we echo the same HTML content that we saw previously. You know, here, these new lines, allowed commands, uptime, etc. And here we have some comments. Audit volume one, command injection due to unescaped user arguments. Hmm, okay, so they've patched it. And audit volume two, unfiltered user commands. Okay, so we have a shell exec PHP function which takes into uh, an argument a string, and this string seemingly 
calls a command on the uh, box called check underscore commands and then it's using escape shell arg this is a PHP function that escapes whatever you put here so you might wonder or you might think that oh we have arg which is a post data if we post something like this we could perform command injection well not really if it's used inside escape shell arg let's keep that in mind um, we have audit phone 1 and audit phone 2 so this means that there were uh, some vulnerabilities found before so maybe this project um, has a history so if we go to the history of that file well you know what I'm just going to go back to the repository and then click on these five commits and uh, see the history of the project so around 2020 late 2020 we have the first commit um, some say this is the best website uh, we have the service and as you can see we don't have any protection whatsoever the post arc data is getting called directly inside the shell exec without any protection this is vulnerable to remote code execution all right I wonder if uh, this website has the latest version of the uh, repository maybe um, it's using this old version so why not try so let's uh, send a curl command to this URL okay by the way the port scanning has finished and we only have the two TCP ports we previously found okay so we need to curl and uh, dash D for data uh, we want to send arg equals and then we want to put like maybe ID just for starters and paste in our path to the PHP file hit enter and it seems that we have no input okay well, what about uh, like something that could hint that a command has been executed uh, using a blind approach so I'm going to use sleep and maybe just uh, wait for five seconds we have an instant response meaning that this is probably not vulnerable let's go back to the list of commits and uh, see the next one okay so here we can see that there's uh, some improvement and what about this one okay we have just renamed index.php to unguessable for security.php nothing interesting and uh, harden our network okay so we have a bunch of IP tables uh, IP tables is the interface to the firewall on the machine I notice that there are some filtering going on here we only accept connections that are already established we cannot like get a reverse shell or download anything the machine has been hardened okay so it seems like we are up against um, a really serious uh, target but we'll find our way harden our network okay we've already seen that uh, no more debugging production oh they gone ahead and uh, removed the echo so just to give you an idea uh, let's use shell exec with an command and C with and without echo so going to run PHP a to get a prompt uh, for an interactive mode and uh, we are going to use shell exec and let's start with just ID we don't have any output so if we type echo this time shell exec ID now we have a response so essentially this means that we are going blind against this target because we don't have any output and this explains why we didn't get any uh, response from the curl command is there anything we can do uh, about this so we have a website that has a command service that is apparently accepting just one command uptime so let's try with this command so I'm just going to type here uptime this is a known operating system command so for example if I type here uptime you know 
that my machine has been up for 17 minutes. But uh, since Echo has been removed, I suspect that the website is using the latest version of uh, this project. Okay, so with that said, we need to focus more on this file and see if we can find any way in. The only um, user input really that we have is this one. So why don't we try to see if we can um, bypass escape shell arg. Try that. Escape shell arg. How to exploit, bypass and use PHP escape shell arg functions. Okay. What do these functions really do? Ensure that user pass only one parameter to command. User cannot specify more than one parameter. User cannot execute different command. Hmm. Okay. For example, here we have username is contains the value my user. So if we run system with uh, a concatenation to this value groups space my user, uh, we have the result of the command. However, if we try to do something like semicolon and then ID, if we don't use escape shell arg, the ID part would be interpreted as a different command. However, if we use escape shell arg, we will get nothing. So this essentially means that we can't run multiple commands. Well, that's a bummer. So uh, there are known bypasses and exploits. So let's see if we can find one. Mm. As you can see from previous chapter, it's not possible to execute a second command when escape shell arg is used. But we still can pass arguments to the first command. Oh, okay. Hmm. So we can do something like this. Okay. All right. I wonder what are the uh, arguments that we can use for uptime. So we have P for pretty, show uptime in pretty format. Uh, we have the help, we have since, and then we have the version. All of them return data. So we don't have any interesting option that could run something on our behalf. So for example, if you take um, tar, we could uh, use compress program option to run some kind of command. But uh, I don't think we can do that with the uptime command. I'm just trusting message saying here allowed commands is uptime. So if we can't do any injection, what can we do? Um, if we go back to the script, I can't help but notice that we have a concatenation that is happening outside the shell arg. This looks promising. I wonder if we could exploit that. And we're going to dig deeper in the second episode. So stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and hitting the ring bell. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.